everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing my June favorites. I can't believe it's already July. Like honestly, like what happened to June? Like I know I went on my trip in the beginning of the month, but I was back in like June 4th. So like I don't know what happened for the rest of the month. Like where was I? <laughs> So I love favorite videos. I didn't do one for April. No, I did April. I skipped May. So I have a lot of favorites this month and I actually have a couple repeats from April, which I think is really funny because that means they're probably going to be my yearly favorites. So let's get into it. So we're going to start with skincare and this month I have three skincare favorites. So my first skincare favorite is my Clean and Clear foaming, um, what is it? My foaming, just my cleanser. And I have super, super sensitive skin. This isn't too harsh on it. It just really, it helped me clear away. I had a lot of acne spots and acne trouble spots going on. And my skin's been a lot better because of it. It's still super sensitive, but like for the price and everything going with this, I'm like thrilled that this is working for me. So I love it. The next skincare product I have for my favorites this month is my Deep Down Detox. What is it? The Formula something, Formula 10.06. Um, Mud mask, and it is the, which one? Orange and bergamot mask. So this is a mud mask, and here, I'll show you the consistency. So, like, it's like a clay mask. Clay, mud, whatever. There's what it looks like. It smells super strong of citrusy orange. It, like, literally just, like, awakens my skin. I only use this in the morning, not before bed. I would be, like, wide awake. And it cleanses it, it detoxes it, it just makes me feel a lot better about my skin. If I'm starting to have trouble spots, I'll put this on and they're gone. And my final skincare product is my Neutrogena Oil-Free Moisturizer in the Combination Skin Formula. My skin's been changing a lot recently, I don't know what. Some days it's super oily through here and here, and other times it's like dry, desert, everywhere else, or like sometimes it's normal. So having this Combination Skin Moisturizer has like saved me, like... Oh my gosh, it has made a difference for my skin. So next on my favorites, I have my makeup. And I have three things again for this one. And I'm going to start with my NYX Born to Glow um, highlighter. It's a liquid highlighter, uh, and I love it. It's what I have on right now. It's not too dark. I found with my very fair skin that it's hard to find a good highlighter that's not just like gold, like gold uh, eyeshadow on my face, it looks like, or anything like that. So this is just a really great liquid highlighter. It's very buildable. Uh, it just works great with me, and I really love, you know, gotta glow fam. I love highlighter. Like, I love it too much. Like, I know there's too much highlighter, and sometimes I put on too much highlighter, but dang, I love highlighter. So, my next favorite for makeup is actually kind of weird, because a lot of people through YouTube and on the internet in general just did not like this product, but I love it. So, it is Maybelline's Dream Cushion Liquid uh, Cushion Foundation. I'll show you guys it. So, it comes with this little cushion uh, applicator. Then you open it, and it's just like a liquid foundation and a cushion. So, you, you know, you press down, and then you apply it. Um, a lot of people didn't like it, but it has it's like super long-lasting on me, and it doesn't make my skin cakey. So, like, I love it. This The color, I think, is great, and I've just, I love it. I've only used it for about a week thus far, and there's still a ton left. So, I'm obsessed with it right now. Um, sometimes foundations work for other people, and they don't work. Or work for some people, but then they don't work for others, and I feel like it's really working for me. But my skin's also super weird right now, so. And finally, for my makeup favorites, I have my Shape Tape Concealer through Tarte. I am in the color Light Medium. I am obsessed. Everybody is obsessed. I have not found a better concealer, and I probably won't for a really long time. So go you, Tarte. This is amazing. I'm obsessed. The next category for my favorites is going to be my hair category. As you guys know, I love my hair. I just did a really great curly hair routine. Uh, go check it out. <laughs> but anyways, my two, I have two hair favorites this year. And one of them is my Dove Leave-In Conditioner. It's the one for uh, coarse curly hair, which, you know, like me. Um, I just really needed a new leave-in conditioner. This one was on clearance, and I actually fell in love with it. So go you, Dove. It smells great, and it feels great, and it's not going to, like... Sometimes you get a leave-in conditioner and your hair looks almost oily, but that's not the case with my hair and this this product. So, yay! Wow, I am really having trouble like forming sen sentences today. I'm sorry. <laughs> and my other product for hair is my Chi Silk Infusion Hair Oil. Um, I use this every day. I have to use it. I need oils for my hair. It's super dry and blah if I don't do it. 
and it's just a great product. So I always have loved Chi. I've been a Chi lover. I know it's expensive, but like sometimes spending the money is worth it. And for this product, it's definitely worth it. So my next category is nails. And this is the same favorite I had in April. And it's my Excuse Me Sir by Essie. Can you guys even see it? It's this light baby pink color. It's on my nails. I'm obsessed. Like, this is my favorite color right now. And I don't know if it's just because pink has become my new favorite color over the year or what it is. But I am I love this. It looks great with everything. So highly recommend this color. Excuse me, sir. Bye, Essie. So next on my favorites, we're going over my favorite fashion items for June. So I live in Upper Michigan, and it's cold. It's been like 60 degrees and raining this whole month. Like, I'm pretty sure it's rained more here than it has in, like, London. So <laughs> just going to say that for now, and then you'll know why my favorites are my favorites. So my first favorite is these new pink sneaks. Oh, my God, they're, like, slip-on. They're literally just from Target, but, like, got them for 20 bucks. They are so comfortable, and they are so cute. Also, they're pink, <laughs> so that's a win. But they go with, like, everything of mine, and I just, I love them. They're comfortable. They're easy to style. Obviously a favorite. And my other favorite is rolled jeans. I'm inserting a picture here if you're wondering why I did that. Um, I've been cuffing and rolling my jeans this whole month because it has been so cold. But then some days it's super humid, but you're like, you can't predict the weather here anymore. So you're like, I'm going to wear jeans, I'm going to cuff them. It's perfect for 60 degrees or like 40 in rain. Like, there's a good mix of like what's happening. Um, super easy to dress up or dress down. I love comfy, cute, rolled. My mom, my friends call them mom jeans, but like they're so cute and like so comfy and I love to pair them with my pink sneaks, hence the picture with the pink sneaks and my favorite bag from Stitch Fix, but that's not part of my favorites. I just love that bag right now, but didn't throw it in here. So <laughs> those are my two fashion favorites this month. So next on my favorites list is books. So I'm going to start with this one. This is called Wait Till Helen Comes. And I read these books, like these Mary Downing Hunt books in like fifth, fourth, fifth grade. And my friend Carly was in town and she was selling back her books because she was, she's moving to Okinawa right now. She's stationed there for two years. Um, but she was just like, you know, selling her books, getting her stuff cleared out. And she had this book and I was like, no way. Like I love Mary Downing Hunt. And so she let me have this book. And I started to reread it, and it was just, like, it brought back so many memories of, like, my childhood and, like, loving to read. And so this is a favorite this month because Carly gave me this book. And she's amazing, and I also love this author. And then my other favorite book is actually through Audible. It's an audiobook, and it's How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. I am a true believer in self-development. I love, you know, learning more and, like being a better person and I feel like this is a really great way to do that. Um, also, I'm just trying to like further my career and so I feel like this is really helping me because uh, I used to not be <laughs> very good at communicating with other people and just working with people in general. I've really grown and I feel like this book's helping me, my job's helping me and just I'm really growing a lot this year which I'm loving so definitely love an audible with my self-development help. But yeah, this book's great. You guys have probably heard of it before. So next on my favorites, I have music. And I actually have two songs instead of like an album or a band. Generally, I'll go with like an album or a new artist I like, but I just have two songs. And it's Malibu by Myrie. My, Myrie? <laughs> Excuse me, I'm having a moment. It's Malibu by Miley Cyrus. And I just love that she's kind of going back to her old ways and her old music. Very nostalgic again. And also, it's just a really great song. So I highly recommend you guys go check that out. And the next one is Bad Liar by Selena Gomez. It's just one of those songs that gets stuck in your head. And I'm like, this is my jam, fam. And um, actually, on Coffee and Curls, we did the uh, singing with noise canceling headphones challenge. And I picked that song. It was really bad, but it's a great song. So I highly recommend you guys go check that one out as well. I also love that both songs are from like Disney Channel stars. And so like my childhood is like coming out this month. And I feel like this whole month has just been like the month of nostalgia. Like how else can we make Lindsay like remember her childhood? <laughs> so next on my list is my internet favorites. And generally I like to pick YouTubers or something like of that sort or something big on the internet. I think last time I had Philip DeFranco. Um, but this time I have two YouTubers that I've just been obsessed with their videos. They're doing such a great job. 
And just with the direction I'm headed with my career and everything, I've been like obviously watching them every day. So it's Tati and Rach Loves. Those two women are like amazing people and they make amazing videos and I just love to watch them. They're so much fun to watch and also they like teach me a lot. So like, oh, those people are amazing. I love them. So if you for some reason don't know who they are, which I don't know how you wouldn't know who they are, go check them out. They're amazing YouTubers and they make way better videos than I'll ever make. So go check them out. <laughs> so I'm going to combine my last two categories for my favorites and it's food and drink. And for starting off, we're going to start with my drink because I've always loved kombucha, but recently at Target I found out they sell kombucha live, which is like soda flavors. So like literally they have like Pure Doctor or Cola or different things. The root beer one's amazing and the uh, Dr. Pepper one is also amazing. I didn't really like Cola in general as a kid, so I, like I can see why I didn't like that one as much. But guys, go check them out. They're so much better for you than drinking soda. Kombucha is amazing for you and you, a lot of people don't like tea. But you don't taste tea, they literally taste like Dr. Pepper or root beer. So like, total favorite, I'm so glad that Target's selling them, and I'm about to waste all my money and keep buying them. So, that's a thing. And then my food's actually a super random food. When Maggie and I went on our road trip to South Dakota in the beginning of the month, we bought a bag of baby carrots, and I don't know if they were like the best baby carrots I've ever had, but like, I've been obsessed with baby carrots since then. I used to just eat like normal like giant carrots, but baby carrots, man, they're the best thing ever. Like, just take a few and, like, best snack in the world. Like, don't, don't put ranch on them or anything. Like, just give me some baby carrots and I'm happy. Like, I don't know why those are my favorite right now, but they are. Alright, that is it for my June favorites. I cannot believe it's June. Or... I can't believe I can't talk at all during this video. I cannot believe it is July already. I'm so excited for the 4th of July. I'm also sad because that means summer's almost over because like I start uh, college up again in August. So it's like, no, <laughs> like it hasn't even been summer yet. It's been so cold here. So I'm hoping it gets warmer and I'm hoping that things will be better. But I'm also hoping that you guys liked this video. And if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below because, like, that would be really cool if you wanted to keep watching me because, like, why would you not? I'm just kidding. But anyways, I will see you guys next week with another video. Bye!